hello welcome to this lesson of a uh, study of you no know, partial differentiation okay so um, in this lesson we'll just go through um, some geometric explanation or some geometric application of you no know, partial differentiation okay all right so um, if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to support the channel as well okay so let's look at this question we have to determine if the function f of x y given by this is increasing or decreasing at the point this one okay two comma five now first of all if you allow x to vary okay this this is very important when you hold y fixed okay and the second aspect is if you allow y to vary if you are, hold x fixed okay so let's go ahead and look at how we solve this question so in the first place as we allow um how do you call it x to vary and hold y constant it means that you are supposed to find this now if something is varying with respect to something then it means you're supposed to find del f del x okay so let's let's move ahead and start okay and the function is f of x y is given by s squared over y cube okay now the first one a if you allow x to value our whose y constant it means that we should find the f the x okay and that will be equal to 2x over y cube okay now with this at the point 2,5 what will be the value of this the value of this will actually tell us if it is increasing or decreasing um put it in mind that for every function to know the, if the function is increasing or decreasing you have to find a slope at that point okay so that the slope will tell you if it is increasing or decreasing when the slope is positive it is increasing when the slope is um negative it is decreasing okay and we know how to find slope slope with respect to x here is just the f there is okay so at that the f okay at this point let me go and write this on the next page at that point del f del x will be equal to now putting everything you have two x over y cube okay and we know the formula we know the numbers or the the coordinates at that point so we have two into two x is two there then y is five so five cube and this will give us give us four over 125 okay and this is greater than zero so at 2,5 f of xy which is equal to s squared over y cube is what increasing increasing at the point 2,5 when x varies okay and y is constant okay so we have to conclude like that i hope you understand this so that is let's go to the next one sorry um the next one is to determine if it is that is the b if it is increasing or decreasing when we um make y to vary and keep or hold x first okay so with that you have to obviously find the f the y and that will be equal to what so you have f of f of x y being equal to s squared over y cube so the f the y would then be equal to just differentiating this with respect to y only so it will give me negative three s squared okay if you go through the process this is what you get okay now at two comma five what will be the value the of the the y will be equal to negative three into two squared over five to the power four and this is equal to negative 12 is it 12 yeah 3 times 4 so we'll have negative 12 over 6 to 5 and this is less than 0 so because of that this is increasing so the second part is it is increasing sorry it is decreasing rather I'm really really sorry it is decreasing okay decreasing I hope you understand the process okay so this is very very simple like that so let's look at another geometric application of um the partial derivatives okay so the second question is find the um 
slopes of the traces to z equals that okay z equals um 10 minus 4s squared minus y squared at the point 1 2 okay so to find the slopes of traces okay it's just finding the f del x that is all okay and they have the s and they have the y okay so here we simply let's okay we simply let f of x y be equal to z which is equal to 10 minus 4s squared minus y squared since it's just in terms of x and y okay so with this fx which is del f del y sorry they have the x is simply equal to negative 8x i hope you get it and fy would then be equal to negative 2y okay now at 1 comma 2 so you are supposed to find your slopes of the traces to z equals 10 minus 4s squared minus y squared. at the point this so at this point fx will be equal to negative 8 and we put x value there and that is negative 8 and fy will be got negative 2 into 2 which is equal to negative 4 okay so these are what we have now to conclude we'll say that you conclude that um the tangent line okay so the the slopes if you know if you remember um calculus one the tangent the slope of a tangent line to a curve at a point is what we just did it's just the first derivative um simplify at that point okay so the tangent line okay the tangent line at so this is how you conclude one comma two for the um sorry for the um trace okay to f of x y or z it was giving us z so let's write the z for s squared minus y squared for the plane okay so this one y equals 2 now for the plane y equals 2 means that we have to differentiate the function with respect to x that is one thing you should also know so if you have a plane y equals something y equals b then we are supposed to find fx or derive the s now if you have a plane y x equals a or s equals something then you are supposed to find the f the y i hope you understand so this has a slope of of um negative eight okay so you follow and conclude for the other one so and the tangent okay i hope you can see the tangent line sorry line at one two i can go ahead and write the rest but for the plane let me write this for the plane x equals one has slope of what negative four i hope you understand so this is why we were supposed to find that is a conclusion to um everything okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support in another discussion we'll talk about um the vector function of partial derivatives okay all right thank you and see you next time